Two auto shows got underway in Taipei on Wednesday, showcasing car parts and the electric vehicle technology. Economics Minister Wang Meihua attended the opening ceremony where she touted the potential of Taiwan's electric vehicle sector. Fielding questions from reporters, she addressed the ongoing drought and its threat to manufacturing. The minister said that due to current water management policies, no science park in Taiwan was at risk of halting production. At the opening of two auto trade shows in Taipei, Minister Wang and Taitra Chairman James Huang shared a stage and touted Taiwan's electric vehicle sector. The auto chip shortage highlights Taiwan's position in automobile electronics and especially in car chips. For the world, Taiwan can be said to be the sacred mountain of the global automobile industry. Combining the auto sector and the electronic sector, two of our major strengths, would allow us to widen our inroads in the global automobile market. Minister Wang said Taiwan could leverage its role as an auto chip provider to forge cooperative alliances with the world. Earlier this week, the White House had invited TSMC to join its semiconductor summit in a step forward for the Taiwan-U.S. partnership. I think the U.S. has realized the importance of semiconductors in all industries. It's seeing how a vulnerable supply chain can create concerns for for economic security and even national security. TSMC has already finalized its investment project in the U.S., and that's an extremely important form of Taiwan-U.S. cooperation. Chip making uses a lot of water. With the drought dragging on, the minister was asked if there was a threat to production. She said the current water policies were working and that no industrial park in the country was under threat. When asked if water rationing would tighten in central Taiwan, the minister had this to say. For now, we'll maintain the current rationing program of five days with water, two days without. We will also diversify our water sources in central Taiwan. By using seawater or groundwater in Taichung, we may dig new wells in areas with abundant water resources and no topographic concerns. A drought response meeting is scheduled for Friday. Officials will review the effectiveness of the current water cuts, which are intended to lower water use by 15 percent. If the reduction falls short of target, a water cut of three days a week could be on the table.